The same day I learned that I had breast cancer, I learned that there was a wonderful solution for it. And I was able to take that solution. Life doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> I opted for the easiest, the safest, the, the quickest, the most painless op uh, option that I could have, and that was cryoablation. I was fortunate enough to be at Central State Hospital in Freehold, um, which has a women's center, a great women's center. And um, the, the radiologist there, Dr. Tonkovich, was involved in a trial with Ice Cure and asked me if I wanted to be in the trial. And then 47 days later, I had the procedure and um, kept my lunch date. When my mom told, told me that she had breast cancer, you know, a few years prior to this, she had survived a major stroke. And I thought, I thought she made it through the stroke, but now she's gonna die of breast cancer. And I was also really afraid for the chemo and the radiation that everyone that I know that's ever had breast cancer has had to go through. And my mom was 80 years old at the time. And um, I, really, I was afraid that she would turn down chemo and radiation. So then she explained to me about the cryoablation and then, and then she had it. She had the cryoablation. She drove herself to it. She didn't want anyone to drive her. Um, she actually couldn't have anyone drive her because she had a meeting to get to right after. It's a lunch to get to. So I think it was 45 minutes after the cryoablation, she was sitting, um, sitting across the table from somebody and, um, and she had a bandaid on and that was just absolutely amazing. Well, number one, it makes um, it makes breast cancer not that um, terrible, terrible thing that you hear about. Um, as a matter of fact, it wasn't even like uh, my mother had cancer. Um, and, you know that that word, that C word. Um, is such an intimidating, overbearing um, concept. Uh, and with uh, with Ice Cure, it wasn't anything to worry about. Benefits of cryoablation for me are health, comfort, satisfaction, relaxation. Uh, the ability to keep my children from grief or from pain, and the fact that I now promote cryoablation for every woman. I, I promote early mammographies for every woman, um, and I promote uh, cryoablation wherever it's absolutely possible. I'm delighted I could do this for my daughter, for my granddaughters, and for my great-grandchildren. Uh, because I think we've made great advances here. Mm -hmm.